Hello everyone. Believe it or not, this is our final edition of Paging Through the Past. It's been a fabulous trip through the century that we've been around. We're finishing up all the final celebrations um, because we actually began in March of 2023. So we'll end in February of 2024 and that'll be our complete year. Uh, just last month, I forgot to mention a few really important parts of the library. Uh, we started our annual fundraiser, Books, Bites, and Bids, which has been a really fun way to celebrate all the library brings to you and raise money for such a good cause. And then we also, some of the things we raised money for was the library on the go. And I forgot to bring up that we started having an outreach library on the go that we bring to parks and festivals and senior citizen centers and it's a really important part of our um, community support. It's fun to drive and it's fun to have it at various festivals and people love coming up to it. So those were two really important things that needed to be mentioned this time. In the 2020, just these past three years, we survived a pandemic, which, which changed our total service plan. And I think that we handled it beautifully. We had curbside pickup run very smoothly. We adjusted according to the CDC. We followed regulations. We kept everyone safe. Uh, we also have added many exciting things to the library. Our maker studio, which was redone with the um, renovation, we it, were able to get a grant to have the native fish tank installed. And then above it, we have this beautiful mural and that the person who did the mural, Dana Wallman, also did a watercolor workshop. And it was full and people had a blast just learning how to do some of the neat tricks that she uses when she's doing her watercolors. We've also added to our collection. We have, now we have a seed library where people are interested in planting flowers and vegetables free of charge. People can come in and get seeds and that will start up again in the spring. We also have a, a library of things. We have a tool library. We have ukuleles to run out. We have hiking kits. We have birding kits. We have all sorts of things that are absolutely wonderful to add to our collection. Last January, we started what was called the Centennial Book Club to celebrate all things 100. We read a book from every decade. We also, we looked for 100 birds. We it challenged people to read 100 books, but it's been fun to try to challenge myself in all things 100. Um, for the anniversary, we got these wonderful shirts and the staff wore them all on the birthday day. And now we have them for sale in the French shop. And so if you would like to grab hold of the fun, I believe they're $15 and you can purchase some at the circulation desk. We also had the marvelous artist Pete Martin's design a limited edition of the library print. It's stunningly gorgeous. It's beautiful. There's so many details. Colors are so beautiful. I've been asking Pete to do this for about 10 years, and he said, ah, ask me at 95. And then finally, when it got to be 100, he came through in a marvelous style. So if you want one of these prints in your home, we have them for sale, or they're on sale at his website for Martin's Print Works. And then we also have this wonderful shirt for the staff and shows all the different things we do. Here's the seed library in an old fashioned card catalog. Here's books, which will always be the mainstay of the library. Here's a ladder from the Tula Library. Here's a birding kit. Here's the clock tower in East Lansing and then our fabulous library on the go. This was designed by um, Archie in the communications department in the city of East Lansing and staff are wearing them proudly. Other than that, the community loves the library. Our last millage passed with, I think, an almost 85% yes, we want to fund you. Um, we appreciate the support. We're going to have another Book Spikes and Bids on Friday, April 12th. So mark your calendars from 5.30 to 8. We usually have a beer and wine license that night, and we have baskets to bid on, and you can mingle with the staff and other members of the community 
and just celebrate all that the East Lansing Public Library does for you. To also to mention on our mural, there is now the QR code so you can find out what um, interested people and how their relationship to East Lansing came about having them on the mural. And we also have six banners designed by the same artists that are breathtaking and that really give you pause to think. So it's been a great year. I appreciate all the support. I'm looking forward to seeing all of you in the near future and I proudly say goodbye.